Oh, could someone please give me a drink of water? Thank you. Now, I said I could forgive. But I am never going to forget. She tried to kill me. You can't get away with this. You just back up. You just keep her away from me. Do what she says, Teresa. I don't want her anywhere near me. Now, who's to say she isn't going to become unglued and try to reach for a machete? Just stop it! Now, I don't want her ever in this house again. In fact, to be perfectly honest, I don't think she should go anywhere near Jane. She's my daughter, Rebecca. Well, at the very least, she is a, a horrible influence on Jane. And we have to start thinking about Jane's safety here. I'm her mother. I wouldn't do anything to hurt her. Look, a mother who is prone to these violent outbursts? And could be deranged? No, 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 no. I don't think she should go anywhere near Jane. No! Rebecca, look, you're going too far. She's Jane's mother. She does deserve to spend time with her. Fine. Then let it be on your head. At the very least, these visits should be supervised. I mean, I really don't think that we could possibly know that Jane would be safe unless there was someone from Child Services there to protect you her. You are out of your mind, Rebecca! Okay, fine. Then I agree with Ivy. You should call the cops. So, you either agree to never come around this house and have very restricted, supervised visits with Jane, or I'm going to have you thrown in jail. Oh, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to do that. No, honey, she's got the law on her side. I think you should just agree. Listen to your father, Mia. Or otherwise you'll go to jail. Just listen. For once. Teresita, Mia. Do what she says, okay? Agree to stay away from the mansion and to supervise visits with Jane, or she'll send you to jail. No. Never. No, it makes sense to me. See, we were up at the top of the stairs, Rebecca. We were arguing. And you realized that you had an audience, so you acted like I was attacking you, and then you threw yourself down the stairs. <laughs> I threw myself down the stairs? Oh, Teresa, you're going to have to do better than that. I saw you throw yourself down the stairs, Rebecca. She set me up, okay? I was framed, Mama. I was framed. She did this to me to keep me from my child. Teresa, come on. She would have killed herself. She could have killed herself throwing herself down the stairs. No one in their right mind would have done that. Why don't you ever believe me? It's not my fault that these things happen, Ethan. She's right, isn't she? You set this up. You risked your neck to get Teresa out of Ethan and Gwen's life. Of course I did. Wouldn't you? <laughs> I know you were trying to show Ethan that I was out to break up Sam and Grace by refusing to leave. Well, guess what? It didn't work. And now he is never going to believe any of the terrible things you say about me. And P.S. You are stuck with me at the mansion where I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure you never get Ethan back. Oh, yes, I will, Ivy. But you will never get Sam. You're out of his house and I will find a way to get you back out of mine. Not if I have my way about it. Ivy, the days of having your way are over. I am going to get rid of you for good this time. <gasps> what did you say? I said I am going to get rid of you for good this time. Ah! <laughs> Newsflash. I already did. Remember? Oh, you mean when Teresa pushed you down the stairs. <laughs> For a minute there, I, I thought I actually died, but even that was worth it. You go, girl. <laughs> Just watch me. <laughs> I think my plan's already started to work. I want the child you stole from me. You know, you're right. Jane's my child, and I can't believe I'm agreeing with Rebecca. But I do on this one, Teresa. I don't know. I don't, I don't think you should be alone with Jane. 